Today my dad and I are going to show you how to turn vintage barn wood into incredible food photography backdrops. These are dual sided, so multi-purpose, also one of a kind. So let's get into it. First step of the process is picking out the wood. I decided to go with a barn wood and I wanted a very unique kind of look. So I found a place in Laguna Niguel, California called US Reclaim Wood. They had some awesome options and I decided to go with an oak and redwood that I found. You could also use Etsy. You can see here they have a lot of options as well. That's going to still provide a very unique look. Since we are using a barn wood, it is going to be very dirty since it's been sitting around forever. So give that a nice power wash. You want to get all that dirt off. If you don't have a power wash, scrub it with some water and soap. Make sure these pieces are nice and clean before we move into the next step. Now it's time to let the sun do its job. You're going to let this dry out for about a day or two. You want to make sure the wood is nice and dry. But you can see here, this is why you pay extra for that barn wood. You see how unique this wood is, which you just cannot replicate this with new wood. The wood's been sitting out for about a day. It's nice and dry, so we're gonna cut these down. The boards are gonna be pretty small. I didn't want anything too big. So the oak one's gonna be about 27 by 27. The red wood's gonna be about 24 by 24. We went ahead and made markings on the wood so we know where to cut. We're just gonna go through, make those cut points, and then move on. Just a little pro tip. Start off by figuring out the size of the board that you want. That way you can make those measurements and then you'll know how much wood to order. Now we're gonna use a combination joiner planer to dress the edges that are gonna get glued to each other. And then we're gonna plane one of the two surfaces on each board so we can have a two surface board, one smooth, one rough. So basically two separate boards out of the same wood, just with a different look. What is a planer? So the planer is gonna surface the flat side. The jointer is gonna surface the edge so we can glue them together with a nice, flat, perfectly square edge. Here are the results. You can see that natural untouched side, and then the plain smooth surface that we're gonna do our double side board on. Next step is we are gonna drill holes into the wood. You can see here we tape the wood so that we know which side goes together. This way we're gonna put dowels in there and glue. So that's how the boards are gonna to hold together. So making a food board, obviously for photography, it has to be flat. So we wanted to go with longer dowels than you can buy pre-cut fluted at like Home Depot. So we cut them ourselves to the length we wanted, four inches in this case. It's gonna go pretty deep into each of these holes. So we wanted to taper the ends ourselves to start them into the hole. My trusty pencil sharpener is adjustable to do that. And we also are easing the diameter a little bit because we want to leave a little bit of room between the dowel and the sides of the hole for glue. If it's super tight, you're just going to squeeze all the glue out and then it's not going to stick. So just taking off literally, you know, a couple of thousandths and then it's going to ease into the hole better and leave some room for the glue.
Now we're going to repeat the process with the other boards and then we are going to move on to the next steps. The boards are glued and dollied, looking solid. But a little pro tip, you want to make sure you put a good amount of weight on the boards overnight because when the glue dries, especially wood being wood, it's going to naturally want to curve in the middle. So in order to prevent that, weight this down and then the glue is going to set properly. Board one of two, we're going to do a smooth side. If you remember when we planed it, we planed one side smooth, left one side rough. It's amazing how different the two sides look. Same, same piece of wood. So this side we're going to give a quick air sand just to smooth it out. This side we're going to give a brief, really brief hand sand and so it retains the, uh, the rough texture. boards are sanded nicely and sprayed so they are ready to paint. I'm going to start off with the redwood here. You can see we're using a black cherry finish. So this is going to bring out a lot of that richness of the wood. We're going to apply a thin layer using a little rag. So let's begin. <laughs> going to let that dry so now we're going to hit the oak board we got an espresso finish for this we want this one to be pretty dark so that's going to give that dark and moody look also picked up this natural stain it essentially brings out some of the richness of the wood the oak board had this beautiful natural live edge so we hit it with that and it looked awesome now that the boards are painted and dried the last step is sealing this you want to get yourself a polyurethane and make sure you get a matte finish this way when you're doing photography you're not going to get any glare spillage on the board also, you want to seal this because it's a food photography board. Who knows what food or you know sauces are going to be spilling on this. Also, get yourself a really good brush. If you get a cheap brush using the poly, it's not going to work all the way in. And the little bristles might fall into the wood as well. So just buy a nice brush and then let's get to work.
Once that first layer of poly fully dries, you want to get some fine sandpaper and just lightly sand. Essentially what this is doing, it's going to pick up any imperfections, any dust, any unevenness of the first layer. And it's going to allow the second layer to adhere better. Really just putting down two to three layers and then these boards are going to be complete. <laughs> That is a wrap guys, these food boards are complete. I'm super pumped with how they turned out and had a great time with my dad doing this. Stay tuned to see some pictures of these food boards in action. Peace.